Welcome. This is the practice test for 10 ready question number 15. Question says the windshield wiper of a car rotates through an angle of measure 5 pi, uh, 5 sixth pi radians, sorry, as shown. The shaded section of a diagram represents the area cleaned by the 10 inch blade of the windshield wiper as it moves from one side to the other. Approximately, what is the area cleared by the blade of the windshield wiper? Now, I wish it was so easy that we could just look at the idea that this is a 10 inch blade and use that, but we can. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first things first, area here of this sector here. Really, this is just a piece of a larger circle. So we're looking at something that looks a bit like this. We want to note this. So when we want to find the area of the sector, it's much easier to find the area of the whole thing. In fact, this is the way that you do it. And so we use the area formula, area equals pi r squared. And then, like we do with a percentage, so say we have 70% of a number, we'd multiply that by 0 0.7 to find 70% of 15 or whatever. Um, we'll multiply that by the percentage of the overall circle that we've been given. Now, 5 pi over 6, if we have 6 pi over 6, these cancel and we end up with pi. Now, to get all the way around a circle, we have 2 pi radians. So essentially, 6 over 6, so 1 pi would get us from, we had the diameter here, from here all the way back to here. So if you can remember that one whole circle is 2 pi radians. You're in, uh, I don't know why we're at radius, radians, because I was thinking about the radius. Sorry about that, radians. I was in a hurry. So if you have 2 pi radians, you have your whole circle. So what we need to do is think, okay, that would be 12 sixth as opposed to 5 sixth. That's what we, uh, that would be one entire circle, and we only have 5 sixths of those. So if we can think, okay, what's 5 sixth of that? So I would take the part over the whole, so it would look, it would never look like this, but just as a reference, this is how that goes. So in order to divide fractions, you never set them up like that. You use what a uh, an elementary school that I went to taught us, which was keep it, flip it, switch it. So you keep the first one, switch the, se switch the sign to multiply, and flip this one over. So this. That would cancel out. So once we get our area for this, if we want to know the area of the segment, or the sector, sorry, you're going to multiply by 5 twelfths. That'll give us the area of any sector shown. The other part to this, which is the maybe the less annoying part, is that we only want the part that's shaded here. And we can't just do the area for 10. It doesn't work like that. So instead, we have this giant circle, which is actually smaller than the circle I had before, and barely a circle. It's not even a circle, really. Let's just lie to ourselves, shall we? So we have this large circle, and it goes from here all the way to here. That would be 10 to 12 or 10 and 2, so that would be 12. All the way out, that's our new radius. This little piece here, it's sort of like a hole punch. We're just going to punch that out. So what I need to do is have the one big circle. And find the area of that. Area. Minus the area of the little circle that we punched out, just like that, 12 and 2. So let's find those, and then when we find that amount, we'll multiply it by 5 twelfths, and we'll be all done, and everything will be finished. So the first thing that we need to do is area equals pi r squared. And so for this one, our radius is 12, so pi 12 squared. They don't leave any room here for me to leave it in terms of pi, which would be nice, but I'd end up with 144 pi. And then when I have that, since we're in a calculator section anyway, I might as well use it. Here we go. So 144 times pi. 
that gets me 452. Point four. We'll round it to the tens place for now. That would be the whole big circle. So everything in the ten and the extra two all made into one giant circle. That would be the area. So I'm going to do the area of the other one. In that case, it would be two squared, which is four pi, or twelve point six ish. So this gives me the area of this one right here, so this circle. This gives me the area here, so in order to sort of punch that middle piece out, I just need to subtract the real uh, simple stuff at that point. So 452.4 minus 12.6. And if you want, you can use your calculator here. It actually probably, I'll do it in the calculator, but it actually take me much longer to do it this way because of the way that I have to type it in. So this amount would be the area of the of the segment or the sector that we want the whole sort of donut I guess that's left for the, all this shaded in area. This is the area of the whole thing. So all I need to do to get to my final answer is multiply the 439.8 by 5 twelfths. In the calculator, since I have this, I can just do this times. There's other ways to get fractions, but if you hit if you have a TI-84, one of the ways is to hit the alpha button and the Y equals, and it brings up a fraction menu that you can use. You can put a mixed numbers that way, too. And it gives us a final value of 183 inches. And since it's an area question, that's a two-dimensional measure. It's 183 inches squared. So there you go. There's your answer for 15. If you have to find the area of a sector, find the area of the entire circle and then multiply it by whatever percentage of that circle is represented by the sector. If you have to take a piece out of the middle, you can't, unfortunately, as we saw in one of the other problems where we found that uh, this increase in radius doesn't directly correlate with the change in area. Uh, you can't just say, okay, let's just do 10. It won't work like that. So instead, you have to do the whole thing, subtract out the interior circle, whatever's left over, you multiply that by the 512s, and that'll get you to the answer.